Good morning, YouTube friends. I'm back with a kiln opening. Uh, if you're not into scraffito, this is not your thing. It's a whole lot of scraffito. It's my latest kiln opening and a little bit from the previous one. Life happened, phone happened. Maybe I'll tell you about it. I just think we better just dive in and start with the tests. I've been doing more tests. I have a project in mind with which I want to use uh, uh, different glazes and uh, uh, interactive pigments by Georgie. And you have seen me test the yellow ore by Mako on black clay. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting the test tiles. They're down here. And... Um, that glaze, I don't, it doesn't sell. It, I think most people like glossy glazes. My experience, let me know in the chat or in the comments whether matte glazes do good for you, selling-wise. I do like it very much, so I'm going to use it on a more artsy project I'm working on. And I did all the Georgie interactive pigments under yellow ore. Put it on there. 50-50 with water, diluted, put it on there, wiped it back, and then one thick coat of yellow pour. It's a bit of a thick glaze anyway. So let's go through them. This is the steel black under the yellow ore. Nice and rustic. This one, hmm, indigo, which is usually, of course, a very, very blue one. This is the Sand and Surf. This is the Golden Straw, which I like, although it's very subtle. This one I like as well, Autumn Foliage. Gives it a little bit more brown and green. I can see a rooster right there at my fence. I hope it's not coming in because then I know Sissy will come from under the workbench where she always hides and grab it. This is Wormwood. Also very subtle but nice. I am planning to use something like this on what well, you could call it a totem. It's more of a stack. It's not going to be that high. It's going to be some sort of kind of female bodice with a face and a big hat and the hat will be a bird bath. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll take you along somewhere. Um, oh, let me tell you what this is. This is Winter Storm. I have another tutorial like I promised you before, but it's not done yet. <laughs> Like I said, phone happened. I was trying to film the next part of that um, <laughs> that tutorial and then I had one phone in two hands. It broke. I did get it together again. It was all tied up with rubber bands, but you know, it was. Yeah. And now I'm filming with a new phone. Early birthday present. Uh, I've not used this camera before, so we'll see what it looks like and what it sounds like. The last one, tree bark. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm a, my chaotic me as usual. Never mind. So that's for a future experiment. You know, if you follow me, I've been testing out oxides in my commercial MS29 Clear Bright Glaze by Laguna. And I wanted to create a turquoise, so I was thinking copper carbonate and cobalt carbonate, blah, blah, blah. You know, you've seen. This was the original one, the first one with 3% of cobalt carb. Beautiful, beautiful royal blue. And I thought, you know, I think it's a little oversaturated. I could do less. Look at this. Oh, let me. This is without texture. Oh, the colors in the camera are more different than in real life, I think. But, hey, this is still a gorgeous, gorgeous royal blue. And this only has 1.5% cobalt carb. So it's half of that. Saves me some cobalt, right? Then I was combining 
the Cobra Carp. It's the Cobra Carp. I got some, um, let me show you an example. I got a little bit of a jeans like green. And this is also an experiment for that same thing I'm working on. Trying to make sprigs and see if the texture is okay. I like this one. This is a press from, uh, I believe, some flowers from a bougainville that I have in my garden. So, uh, gosh, I'm chaotic. So, uh, the first one I did was, came out jeans blue, so I thought, way, way, way less cobalt. So here I have a combination of one part, which is only 3% cobalt carp, and six parts of 3% copper card. I thought that is so little blue into that green has to be turquoise, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. It's a... Well, we'll see when editing. It looks more blue in my viewer. It's a bit of a greenish gray. It is pretty on its own, but still not turquoise. <laughs> now, I do not know what's in this glaze. I, I mean, it's a Laguna glaze. I buy the powder and mix it up with water. So maybe it's the glaze. So I'm, I'll keep on trusting. I made some other sprigs, well, intending to, um, to see the texture. I'm, I'm trying to get that lady in some kind of lacy top she's wearing. You know, well, <laughs> this is the same, which I was hoping would be turquoise, which it isn't, but this, this I brushed on, and this was dipped. Um, this is also the bougainville. I like the texture. So I might be using this as a spray. Uh, I did some leaves to see if the texture would come out. Now this is an Audi texture and not an Innie, you know, like your belly button. Mm -hmm. I have to find some other leaves that do better. Uh, and I tried these as well. This is the the darker cobalt and the lighter cobalt. Oh, that's what I'm working on. And I also tried some leaves from my oleander. And I put on a very thin coat of the copper carb, 3%. And it's very light, very delicate. I like the sprig. Texture comes out okay. made a new blue mason combination. I have a beautiful dark blue, I have a light blue, but I did not really have a medium blue. So I made this one. This is just my slip from the same clay body with mason stains. And this is two parts sky mason stain and one part sapphire. It's a beautiful medium blue. Perfectly. I also made some new price tags cars for on my display this is the same glaze ms29 with i do not know the percentage but with a stain called bermuda i made these as well a bunch of them for hanging trash tags and that's that's just about all the little stuff um i was out of necklaces so I made some new necklaces. In case you don't know, these are perfume necklaces. They have a little pocket. So what you do, you take your favorite essential oil, dip a, a little piece of cotton or a paper towel in the oil and put it in here and it will smell for days. And um, this is vitrified. First of all, I had a good cone six firing and it's glazed all over on the inside as well. So you won't have to uh, have the skin of the, the oil on your skin, especially in a climate like ours when it's always warm, that's a good thing. So can you imagine? 
This one is in the, oh, the these all are in the beautiful Bloom Monday by Spectrum dipped. Of course, I tried some of my combinations with oxides. This one, the texture is made with coral from our beach, and it's the this one is the 3% cobalt carp in my clear glaze. Very dark blue. Same glaze, but with a swirly stamp. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to wear that one. I also tried it with my green. This is texture is made with some a piece of brain coral from our beach and this one oh as well and these have the three percent copper carb in the clear glaze so it's graffito time shall we start with the big piece first yeah it's pride month in june and june's almost over but i'm just in time and there it is Rainbow colors with a mandala graffito pattern. Let me get real close so you can see. And of course, Pride Month is all about equality. And for me, it's, it's about love. Love is love, no matter how and what. As long as two people or, I don't know, more <laughs> agree, love is love. So. I wrote love is love is oh it looks backwards on my viewer huh sorry working with a new phone so this beautiful shallow bowl rainbow love is love it's sturdy enough to be a bird bath but of course you know sometimes people I don't know do you have that, that the customers come in and they ask what is it for you know and if I have made something like this, let's say with be it being a bird bath in my mind, I tell them, uh, well, I made it as a bird bath, but you know, if you want to serve cupcakes in it, I'm not gonna come and check on you what you do with it. So, do you have that? People ask you what it's for? I find it interesting. <coughs> okay, more scrofito. Small. But cute incense holder for you know the little cones. I have another one. <coughs> I did an experiment. Well, of course, a butter. <laughs> Who doesn't? And this one. I like the picture. It's an iguana. I like that very much. However, colors. Hmm. And look here, it looks like I could have scratched out more or I should have done it like that all over. Either way would be fine. Um, this is a mason stain in my slip. What it's called? What is it called? I believe it's gunmetal. If you use more, it's blue. If you use a little lower percentage, it's gray. But in its fluid state in the slip, it's exactly the same color as my clay. So I couldn't see where I'd scratched. Maybe I should put some food coloring in there or something so I can see better when I do this. I like the iguana though. Nice little vase. Do you remember last video, I think? Yeah, I made a storage jar with, with owls on it. So like I made a friend to go with it as a I don't know maybe a vase although maybe a bit wide opening or a utensil holder on your kitchen counter together with the storage jar and a spoon rest <laughs> I like it a set of three I just love these owls oh they're so cute and these two are also cute I have been playing around with more black and white. I made a cup with orcas. I like this one. Also my own 
um, slip with mason stain. I believe this is the velvet 6601, 10%, something like that. And I made a little cup. Sorry, I was throwing out water. We have some funky weather because of the storm that's passing us by. Oh, by the way, thank you all that sent me messengers, messages or even emails to ask if we were okay because of the storm that's passing by. We are fine. We have funky weather, uh, wind reversals, which is of course important for the people that have boats out there. Uh, some rain, a little bit more wind and at sometimes no wind at all, which makes it hot, but we're okay. A bowl with orcas. Um, I'm going to have to get another board. I'll be right back. Here we are. Oscar Fito again. I made some small bug vases. This is multicolored, a few different colors, uh, kinds of blue. Doesn't look like that in my viewer, but again, it's a new phone. We'll see when I edit this. Cacti. Also, this is two, two different colors of green. Colors of, you know what I'm saying. I tried another landscape. Remember the last one with the lid that didn't fit? Because I changed the way, no, never mind. I placed it. Um, I like that landscape. So I tried it on a mock. Look. I especially love that part. I don't know why. All those grasses came out good. Funky trees. It's sort of kind of happy tree when I look at it now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> look at it. <laughs> okay. I like maybe another landscape or seascape who knows a little bit more black and white turtles and this is an order for for um sea ray sea ray stingray mugs yeah well rays you know the beautiful flying fish, so to speak. Although, no, I've seen flying fish here. Amazing, by the way. Gosh, I'm rambling. Never mind. Look at these rays. There are four, and they're all just a tad bit different. I didn't want to make four mugs exactly the same, you know? Now, this is an order. <laughs> And uh, it's going to the States. I don't have the address. Weren't we clever? <laughs> I have their email address. So I'll, I was going to send them an email about the shipping costs. What would it cost to send four mugs? Oh, yeah, send me an email, blah, blah. blah. Sure. <laughs> but I don't even have an address yet. So I don't know the shipping costs. So I'll send them an email later today. They are pretty. Of course. We cannot go without flamingos here. Look at the tiny ones. Three colors. Red, orange, and shrimp pink. So, oh, yeah. I made some smaller marks. There were some people in here that said, well, a little bit too big for me. Can you make smaller ones? Not really in order, but you know, yeah, why not? Why not make smaller ones? These will probably also fit... Um, uh, and coffee, under a coffee machine, you know. I'm not sure if these will. I don't own a machine like that, so I wouldn't know. And then there's only one more. Are we done already? Yes, we're done already. One more, a smaller one. Oh, these colors turn up better. I, I put a green in here. Well, as you can tell, I'm a little bit of a uh, sprechito addict. <laughs> I'm going to take how do I end this video just say bye right if you like the video please do like the video you know let's or if even if you just love pottery like the video let's spread the pottery fun that's important I'll see you in the next video and I will leave you with a little bit of um, mother nature see you in the next one my bird bath but this is the first visitor a young iguana. Look at those colors.
Can I come close or are you going to run away? Hey, pretty one. Okay, I'll go. Oops. Uh oh, and there's the dog. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no! Oh no, she got him! Oh well. There's Mother Nature for you. I guess I killed an iguana today. There she goes. All proud. <laughs>